great knockout that was. Yeah, yeah, was and you uh, and brought your silverware with you as well. Yeah, Woo! Look at this belt. Woo -hoo! See that shining, brother. Oh my! With it being South Asian Heritage Month, I've come down to sit with Hamza, <laughs> Masood, <laughs> Umar, <laughs> and Mohammed <laughs> to talk about what it's like to be a South Asian boxer. How much does it mean uh, to you to represent your community? For me, it means a hell of a lot. Um, being one of the first Afghans to, to box and to do something with boxing, it's, it means the world to me. And it would be great to bring my people on as well. Especially representing them in a very positive, uh, positive light and being, I'd say, one of, the, one of the front runners, especially in boxing as a South Asian. It's a massive thing, and hopefully I can conti continue to carry on and, and inspire everyone. Right, another question. Hamza. Back to me, yeah? Yes, brother. Who are some of your South Asian role models today? I think for me, growing up around Hamza when I was young, so Hamza was a big role model for me. Mm. And then also That's like my... <laughs> <laughs> and then I think my dad as well, he's like quite a, quite a powerful figure in my life, so... Uh, Muhammad? Uh, it's got to be Amir Khan. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, it, being British as well and, you know, coming from the same neck of the woods, you've got to look at Amir as an icon. Completely you know, agree. He's, he, the guy is a special, special man. Um, for me, it's definitely got to be my uncle who, who, who got me into boxing. If you look um, in my last few fights, he's, always, he's there in my corner with me now. So he's living the dream with me and through me now. We have a, a pattern here. We've got, uh, you know, one of the best uh, South Asian boxers to ever be around, Amir Khan. We've got, you know, f uh, father. We've got uncle here. We've got brother here. And I think that's what it's about. You know, the South Asian culture, the heritage is that the family unity is very, very important. Yep. And, and I think sometimes, you know, even though these boys may be fighting for titles, uh, for belts, um, for the money, but really deep down they're doing it for their families and for their parents. And I know that. They don't even have to say it. What is your favourite Asian dish? Mmm. <laughs> it's a dessert, but yeah. I mine's got to be butter chicken or biryani. Can't go wrong, man. Chicken palak all day for me. Chicken palak fresh. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I actually don't eat Asian. Oh, really? But come on, you have to choose one. I live in Spain, so I don't really eat Asian food. Other than so. I think like alu kima. Yeah, it does the job, doesn't it? What is Ramadan like for you as a boxer athlete? Mohammed, with you being diabetic, uh, what's it like for you? You, you can you train? Yeah, as normal. Got, as normal. You know, a normal day for me. You know, I can't fast. Yeah. You know, it's simple as that. I wouldn't put my health at risk. Yeah. Do you know, like Islam teaches you. Do you know, your health comes yeah. first. You've got to look after yourself. Yeah. And I wouldn't put myself at risk, so I don't fast. Does boxing give you that freedom to express your religion compared to other sports and platforms? I wouldn't say it gives it like expresses my religion, but I feel like my religion definitely helps me a lot with the sport. Mm -hmm. because like it gives me like a sense of power it has like the fundamental building blocks to yeah. kind of live that warrior lifestyle right for me it just gives me a standpoint on what to do how to approach life how to be how to conduct myself as a human being to have compassion and how to treat people so for me it's very important my faith gives me my morals i mean it's important to every single one of us but how we express that and how we explain how it is is all, is all different because obviously every single one of us has a different mentality, has a different understanding of how it helps us as individuals. Completely agree, Hamza. This is it. These boxes are smart, guys. All right. What is your most used word to say in your native language? I don't know what mine is. I can't even speak it properly. All the other? I understand it, though. <laughs> yeah. You want? You don't even see Asian dishes, he wouldn't know any words, would he? I already know this what are or have been some of the barriers in boxing for you as a South Asian? I come from a very predominantly white area, as in there's not a lot of uh, Asian boxers from that region. And when I entered the club, there was no one I could really bond with or no one I could really get on board with. And it was just, you felt like an outsider. Mm. 
aside from my younger brother, I was I was trying to prove myself and I had to go through a lot of obstacles just to get people to look at me. So yeah. I depend I think it depends on certain areas. When when I went to the boxing gym, uh just before Amir went to the Olympics, I got scared, you know, being the only Pakistani in the gym. I felt uh, intimidated. And when he went to the Olympics, uh, Amir, and won silver, went back to the gym, and there's hundreds of Pakistanis coming into the gym, and it just made me feel, you know, part of, part of the gym. I think that's also one of the advantages of also being South Asian as well, is that being a, shall we say, a kind of a minority, they seem to want to push you even more and kind of support you even more, more because they know the difficulties and the challenges that we have in society to overcome certain obstacles. I suppose what it does really show is over the, over the years how we've got together as a, as a South Asian community, as a community in the sport and how big we are now, how, many, how, many, how popular it is within our community now. So it shows the growth, I mean, it shows... The growth and I think it, it will be ever growing. Something special about boxing is that it's like one of the only sports now which like there's a place for Asians. Yes. We feel at home with it. Yep. Yeah. One more. Biryani or brown brown chawal? Um, biryani, I don't know. Brown javel. Uh, for me, brown javel. Biryani you meant blow. Brown chawal. Chawal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you put chawal or chawal, chawal means tight ass, doesn't it? Brown chawal. <laughs> Brown. <laughs> doesn't eat Asian food, doesn't it? What would you want your legacy to be in the sport, inshallah? I want to go on to show, you know, if you're suffering from an underlying health condition, that you can achieve your dreams. And I am going to prove one day that uh, suffering from type 1 diabetes, that I can become a champion. Muhammad, as soon as I found out that you had type 1 diabetes and you were a boxer, like, yeah. for me, you were already a champion. Yeah, I think, I that's, really I think you're inspiring it. so many people. Yeah. Hamza, yourself, we've got a belt here, so we're already, we're ticking a few boxes off here. You've got to split it in two, in terms of legacy inside the ring and what you want to do outside the ring. So obviously inside the ring, just like Uma said, you want to become a world champion. You want to become like, a multi-weight world champion. But if we're talking... Outside of boxing, I suppose it's inspiring the youth, showing people that, listen, whatever you do in life, not even if it's not boxing, whatever you, whatever it is, boxing, I don't know, anything to do in school, whatever, whatever uh, path you choose in life, it's just that if you stay dedicated, stay, stay doing your thing, stay focused, you, you, you'll win regardless. It gets me really feeling really proud, you know, seeing Hamza sitting here with a, a belt here to have uh, brother Muhammad, Uma and Masood here sitting with me. I feel really, really proud. I feel like I can go out and if anybody says to me anything about boxing, about, about the, the sport of boxing, I have examples uh, in front of me who are, you know, doing so, so, so well. Are you proud? <laughs> Muhammad. <Mohammed. laughs> Mitai or Jalebi? Jalebi, a hot one though. It's got to come out of the fryer. Mitai for me, man. <laughs> oh, the fire, right? <laughs> Dairy milk, mate. <laughs> um, <laughs> will you become the target, mate? <laughs> what is the support from the South Asian community like? The sport is crazy, you know, because it's like when one of us fights, all of us fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, to be fair, to be fair, listen, he might not sound very convincing, but he's obviously, he's my, he is my cousin. So. <laughs> I'm trying to save him here, man. He's got a massive, 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 massive support. South Asian massive. Uh, community support, huge. I got you, but don't worry. Uh, in our South Asian culture, We've got tight knot families, you know, we stick together and uh, we're there to spot one another, you know, I think at you, home. you basically just answer for everyone, <laughs> literally. I think for me it's slightly different. None of my family ever supported me with uh, boxing up until I started winning national titles. They wanted me going back to work. They were like, why do you quit your job? You were, you were on your way to buying a house or something. I think more than that is just giving the next generation hope. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what you do. 
as long as you're giving them something to inspire towards. For example, the, the next generation of kids that have got diabetes, they're going to look at you and be like, okay, he can do it. I'm going to inspire to be like that as well. So for me, for me, it's just giving someone hope to do better. English tea or jive? It's got to be jive for me. He knows what this one, he knows what this one is. Uma, what are we going for? Chai, chai, chai. Chai wala. Chai wala. Would you change anything about the way the South Asian community support you? Absolutely not. They all come out uh, in abundance. Do you know, we yeah, support like one us. another. Look, we all sat here, exactly. you know, getting along, we're having a laugh, we're motivated. No, I think that we can do more. I honestly, I genuinely do think we can do more. We can always do more. Yeah, no, but you know what it is almost? You know, like in the in the era where Amir Khan was boxing, how people used to go to the fight, I think people are spoiled with the amount of British exactly. Asian boxers there are. Yeah, yeah, choice yeah. I think that should be getting you more excited to be like, right, this is our time to really push forward. We've got a nice roster, right? We've got some champions here, we, you know, what are we doing? We need to make these fight nights electric every single time so people say that the British, South Asian, British community are absolutely electric. They're on fire. They're here to take it all. And how proud would you guys feel if you see your South Asian favorite boxer reaching those high levels? It's our duty and responsibility as well to support. So I, I know you may think that you have enough support. I believe that there is a lot of support, but I think there is still a lot more to do. Right, okay, and the last question. Why is it important to shed light on South Asian Heritage Month? It's called South Asian Heritage Month for a reason, because it's happening this month. Mm. Not, like you said, it's not going to happen next month, yeah. is it? So it gives us an opportunity to embrace it and show people how we embrace it. Do you know what I mean? Show people how we embrace it and that we're proud at the end of the day. What I love most about being South Asian, the food. I think we've got the best food out of all cultures. We're all super supportive, encouraging of each other. Tall, dark and handsome. What I love most about being South Asian is the genuine love and support I get after each and every one of my fights. The rice, the chapatis, the chicken, the lamb, beautiful. Being around my family and receiving the support. We all want the best for each other. <laughs> Ready? Three, yeah. Two.